Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. It is a beautiful day. There we go. So, the walk on the side of this thing, you can tell it's not the best, but yeah, let's not wreck too much. So this one doesn't look too bad. Ugh. We might replace that today. It looks pretty solid. But the one that's missing oh, is this guy. It's been like this for a while. Oh. And as you can see, totally gone. So we we are going to yeah, totally done. So we're gonna replace that. Now we're on the inside of the trailer. This is the good one. Ugh, there we go. That is the bad one. So in order to do that, you should undo this right here. That should just pull out and that can do that. Then we should be able to remove everything. So I got these off Amazon. There should be two in here. Yep. So these guys are like 40 bucks come with all the hardware and stuff I'm gonna need all of that stuff so some assembly is required so that's the instructions right there you can pause it if you want to so this is pretty simple that's the back side you just drill through it you use your nuts and bolts to fasten it together and that's how that works you got the right orientation so yeah we'll just drill some holes and fasten it together and then we'll place it on top and bob's your uncle yeah so these rv trailer hood vents, caps, whatever you want to call them. They're pretty easy to install. You got screws, you got nylon washers, which is kind of like a cheap uh, nylon nut kind of thing. Because when you tighten the nut, it kind of compresses into the uh, the washer. So it's like a cheap nylon nut compression fitting or something or other. Anyways, pretty easy to install. Just watch and read the instructions and check it out. Make sure your orientation for your hinge is all correct and uh, you're good to go. Look at that sun set. Beautiful. Anyways, wish me luck as I get over this thing. Okay. So this is what we're changing in. This was actually a bit of a struggle. Um, I don't think it's the original vent. So the struggle is real. Went underneath, taking a look at things, pop some stuff off. That way I can get some access to it, take a look how it works. And I realized that you kind of have to force it to make it work. So I'm going to force it to take it off. And then that way I can slide the new vent in. You can't really see it from this angle, so I apologize for that. But you really do. So that was pretty uh, hard to do. You got the retaining clip in there. I bent those tabs down. And all I have to do is pull this down, which you can see the two screws there. I couldn't see them from the bottom. But I guess they're just kind of kind of spaces or something. Anyways, pull that out, clear all that out. We can now close this up, and she looks ten times better than uh, that gaping hole we had, or that nonsense. So I cleaned everything out, and now moves and goes up, moves and comes down. So she's good for now. A lot uh, more sightly than the other now thing. Now to remove this guy. Ooh, we've got some problems there. That might explain some of the issues. Okay, well, yeah, so we'll just remove that one and change that up too. So I'm gonna change this, format that all together. Ta-da! We got it done. So now we just, I'm not gonna lie, I'm almost falling off this thing like twice today. But it is what it is. Okay, so we'll throw in a time lapse after we set this up and we'll get that installed. Definitely not the original hood vent and definitely missing some hardware. So I learned a couple things. We're missing the retaining clip. So this one just easily pop off. If I pull this here at the right angle, she just pops right out, not a big deal. We won't ever have it let down. And this one's still pretty decent. So this will be a spare for whoever the new owner of the trailer is. And uh, that's that. The solar panels are going to be removed. I will clean the rust and paint this. So this is galvanized, but I think someone else has put this on here. And I will close that. But that's what they look like. A lot better than what it was. 
the sun is almost set. So I'm done. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.